all due respect, Yaw's way is a sort of geeky, sort of elf, kind of soft body form that they've been trying to force on me, among other things, you know, for the foolish observer to be fooled. We look at the idea of Ra Wei, right? This is this true spirit of God forging man through true martial arts with no ill gotten gains. In fact, it's right there in the word Rob, right? Ra B. Rabbi. Ra B I, right? They're wrong. Ra Bi, right? Bisexual, right? They're wrong. And this is first and foremost has to do with the spirit, right? The energy okay, that they're referring to because they don't believe in the spirit in its true form. They just pretend. To steal, right? Technology, right? Inward, no gear, steal and steal. That's open and shut right there. And all these things have to do with snaking, right? So if you're pretending to be, you're a snake. If you're using technology to justify your argument, you're a snake, right? Steal and steal. Rob, rob, be. And to snake. Sneaky, right? Snow, key. It goes back to ice. I, key or I, C, E. Okay. This is the insistence of people from snowy places, right? Uh, cold places, places with ice, uh, on uh, being put above uh, the, the true martial art order. Okay, People who aren't even really known for martial arts, but kind of Neanderthal brute force with all due respect. There was a potential, right, up until I died, there's a potential for them to be saved by God, but not for them to put themselves above me in, tr in truth, in reality, or to do that and to be allowed to go to heaven. So when we look at... Um, the racial, their racial argument. When people say, do I have to spell it out for you? And this is significant. This whole video is significant. Pay close attention. When people say, do I have to spell it out for you? Okay. What are they getting at? They believe that they're more aware, right? Senses, right? They are more perceptive and sharp because they're related to the gods. And this goes back to Greco-Roman mythology and mystery, right? Mist over your ear and your eye, your senses, right? Mystery. And it goes back to miss, right, and must, and so on and so forth. So what, what are they really getting at? Okay. Well, there's one god race. And then there was a bunch of whores that rode the beast. The children of the martial art order that were female that slept with the enemy outside of the divine order. Okay. What did this mean? It means that they went the flesh route with it. This has everything to do with regeneration, to generate gene rate and reproduction. We'll get into that momentarily. Okay. So what direction they were building toward? Sneaking and snaking to be a ground crawling ninny, right? Cursed to be a ground crawling crawling ninny, or building toward exiting through the sun, which symbolically draws the water, right? The well through it, the sun gate, sun day. Right versus the moon, ya, la, le, lie, the prince of darkness. So what we see here is a rape cult problem, and they have given you a rapist solution. So first they give you a bunch of scum in the world, and they threaten you in all kinds of subtle and obvious ways. And then they have a bunch of rapists, right, who have been allowed to be successful and allowed to look quote-unquote good. They then approach these people. You know, they take war brides. They use corporate money, blood money, to, to you know, impress a bunch of gold diggers who they have ensnared in their various cultures. And all cultural roads, all cultural roads, first and foremost, all social roads that are allowed lead to Rome. Okay? If they have any significant following, they lead to Rome. And of course, that's everything outside the divine order, is obviously, you know, which is the martial art order, Ra, Horus, right, hero, Okay, right there in their own language, right? Haru, hero, right? Horus, right? You can remove the S, part of the wordplay. It's plural, right? Hero, very simple, very straightforward. Heros is the master. Horus, heros. Horus is the master. In ancient Greek, and of course, this is where you get the word Mars and martial arts. Mars also uses the symbol of the man, which is a sort of arrow pointing a certain in an angle in a circle, a circle being raw. Basically, they're going astray. However, they are not going up. They are going somewhere else. Okay, In their minds, they're going out, but they're not going straight up through the sun gate. Symbolically, that's what I'd, I'd, I'd say that symbol means. It could be no other way because they're acting like snakes and not like men. So they're basically acting like a son of a childish bitch because when we look at the children of old, they knew better than to insult God and try to snake people. 
So they are less than children in the martial arts order. They are the, acting like the sons of and daughters of childish bitches, with all due respect, if any is due. Okay, so again, it's rape called problem, rape is solution. Okay, rape by illusion, coercion, suggestion, right? Sage, you know, eyes shun, suggestion, okay? Repetition, right? Rape, eye to shun, and so on and so forth. This goes back to Cinderella, right? Cinderella in a trance, Sleeping Beauty. In this, in this original story, she's raped by a German prince, right? Cinderella in a trance, going to a rape cult mini that is allowed, again, to look, quote unquote, good, okay? You see this in all propaganda, American propaganda, especially Captain America. He looks like a good guy. But no, he really represents a rape cult ninny. So, of course, aware, to be aware, a war. And we'll get to this shortly. Okay, frats, occult, sex cult, Greek cults. Okay, they basically use various tactics with sexual implications. And sometimes they tie people up and spank them and have them say that they're a good slave. They're a good bitch. They belong to these people. Property, right? Proper tees, proper tees, and proper t-shirt, cleavage, and all this stuff goes into it, right? So, and propair, right, to ease, right? Proper tees, right? And ease in more than one way, right? An easy sex called slut. If she is not doing it raw way, make no mistake, she is easy. I don't care how rich she is. All it takes is some rich bitch in some ninny culture who's a snake dog, who has life handed to him with old money bitch and corporate bitch, corp pirate bitch, and she, boom! She's, well, I'm, I'm from good stock and I'll breathe with you. She's a dumb bitch. She's easy, okay? She's just easy in that particular despicable, pernicious way. And the richer they are, the more despicable they are is the general rule of thumb here. It goes back to the Greek societies, right? And their, their, their little initiations where they have people say bitch shit that shows sort of mind control tactics, right? And it goes back to the fake alpha, their role playing, right? And betas is beast scramble, remember? Game is gay, quote unquote, quote unquote, me, not me. That's the word play with game. It's also word play for image uh, or mage in general, you know, scramble and image and also image, I mage. Okay, moving on. So I went through the raw way. So let's look at the word play, right? War D. War D. Word play, right? Interchangeable vow, vow to ill, uh, Masonic word play, magic spell, uh, cuneiform, right? C, uh, a C in E form, right? C, Anu form, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of things you can get from the cuneiform itself. Sumer and Babylon, again, these guys are on bitch shit, right? And they don't want raka in the strike, and all those words strike, hit, stab, right? Remove the S, remove the T, you get Obi, right? The true spirit of God, the man, Obi. Obi mean heart, mean king, mean temple. The true O, oh, the true circle is Ra, the strength of the sun, the marshalling force. They created the sun. So, again, wordplay, word play, also draw play, and play. This goes back to alphabet. The true alpha has all foe, right? He's shunned by the world because they're acting like the sons of, and daughters, and, you know, children, chill, dren, right, of childish bitches. This goes back to the psych ward, where you take a chill pill and you cool off. And it goes back to the police, policy, and all the ice words that I've gone over before. So... Again, uh, who can stop them? It's right there in the word. Top. I am the top martial artist. Everyone else is acting like complicit ninnies. How can you push the culture of rape cults openly and establish a business or a secret society? You know, deal and lead, right? Scramble the word. Deal, you get lead. How can you do that? And be a true martial artist, you can't. Who are you ordering society for? For a bunch of rape cult ninnies. What is the works of your martial arts school? A bunch of people who contribute to the rape cult energy based culture of channeling, right? TV channels and so on, channeling, drawing on the, the, the ideas in rape cult energy and form of bitches, worship and worship, which goes back to reproduction, reproduce, and regeneration. They're making, they're forging more and more effective vessels that are more receptive to the rape cult ideas based on who they sleep with. That's why date is a play on words for D8. Again, regeneration, reproduction. Right, bringing in this idea, this sex cult, rape cult, Luciferian sex energy into their body. Right? So they can then reproduce with these other people in this energy and idea. And all energy outside of the alpha order is rape cult energy. 
So if you get rid of the true alpha line, there is no being right after that. It's just rape call, rape call, rape call, rape call everywhere. Some guys pretend to be good. Some guys are like, I am in that. You're not. You're snake. Okay? If, you're, if your forefathers had any heart, they would have committed seppuku. They would have killed themselves or fought to the death or caused their death by telling the truth and been screened out. One way or another, they would have died. Okay? They wouldn't have kept reproducing. Especially, it's very straightforward. It's very obvious that that's what people like me want them to do. Even in the Bible, where Yahweh right, is said to be God. The soft kind of effeminate beta kind of looking, you know, kind of Serapis, kind of Ganymede, kind of, you know, Zagreus, kind of soft sissy cartoon face looking Jesus, right? Kind of gay face Jesus. Even he's saying carry your cross and quit acting like a bitch, okay? So when we look at, again, top and stop, I went over that. Um, so I can't go over this idea of regeneration enough, okay? So when I'm in the martial order, I'm standing in front of a class. They're all standing at attention, right? A, tension, tension, they're tense, right? It's forging a, a rough face in the nature, in jungle, in the jungle, okay? And I'm conveying the spirit to them. I'm like, don't you dare act like one of those sniveling bitches that isn't part of our martial art order. Don't you dare act like the corporate oppressor and those harlots, those sniveling, less than little brat bitches that sleep with them. Don't you dare pretend that righteousness isn't something that allows you to immediately see evil for what it is. Don't you dare slip into a trance willingly. Don't you dare pretend that I am not the way, the truth, and the light. And even when they drug me and my light dims, you search righteous indignation. You search and you know the true nation, the true kingdom of God is in the martial art order and not some sniveling bitches that have gone to great lengths to make me sound corny, to make me look sissy, to make me look gay and crazy. Don't you dare pretend like you don't know I'm the top and the only way. And if I don't have a child that I raise myself and convey the true spirit to myself, that man is lost. Don't you pretend that that is not the case. And they're starting to form a very serious mentality as I'm conveying the true spirit, right? You spear the enemy and you, you be ready to sacrifice your family and your life. That's what any basic soldier is taught to do. When you go to war, you sacrifice time with your family. You could lose the war. The terrorists could find out who you are and kill your family. The enemy could conquer your kingdom and kill your family. Someone else there, some robbers or something, while all the soldiers are gone, could rape and kill the family. How do you think the craftsmen bitches rose to power in the first place? Like sniveling, tail-tucked bitches staying back in the nation while the warriors did all the work. Having sex with this sniveling harlot bitches who have the nerve to pretend that martial arts honor isn't greater than being the pussy that stayed behind comforting your cowardly, sniveling, less than loyal harlot asses. Don't you be like those pussy ass bitches like the opposition view and everyone outside of the divine order. You better believe that's how I would tell them. In the true spirit, with Ra coming out of my fucking temple. Okay? Ra! Ka! Right? Screaming it with martial arts focus intensity and conveying it, conveying it, conveying it. Striking out and letting the spirit flow into them. Now you catch that and you strike out at them as well. That is the spirit of God, the spirit of God. Not some sniveling pussies that are only concerned with who's paired and who's spared. Survivalist cowards that are afraid to pay the price to go to heaven. Instead they, instead they pay the fear, excuse me, the fee. They sell their soul, their potential, their ability to come into the divine order and receive the true spirit of God. That is the soul, which is a play on words for son. It means son in a, a Spanish, I believe, a Latin root language, right? Latin Romans. And it's conveyed. Bang. Boom. You convey it next. You think this shouldn't be conveyed from the top martial artist? Some sniveling coward I kill in a moment? If God is with them and it is the spirit, why couldn't they conquer me? sabotaged and blinded. I'd go as far as to say they still couldn't beat me. I am the fucking truth. They are some pussy wordplay bitches that I have to spill it out for. And then they turn around and say, do I have to spill it out for you? No, do I have to spill it out for you? Because you are still in rebellion like a cowardly little worm. 